Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm gonna to explain to you guys why I am personally no longer using the RSI MACD strategy for trading crypto like I have always used in the past. Um, so guys, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, you don't know this, but I have been talking about this RSI and MACD strategy that I've been using for a very long time. Um, I've personally been using it for the last five years and it has been phenomenal for me. So this video has nothing to do with, you know, that it doesn't work or anything like that. This strategy still works very, very well. Okay. Sometimes you guys, you just have to learn new things every once in, a, once in a while and you just have to know when to move on. We all grow, right? And guys, it is a normal part of life, right? So guys, well, that's how I've been feeling lately about this RSI MACD trading thing strategy. So I've been using I've been using it for the last five years, like I said, all right, but it is just, it's time for me to just grow. It's time for me to change. Um, so I have been veering off into trying different types of strategies and testing them out and seeing how they work. And in addition, you guys, um, you know, and I'll get into that in a little bit here as well. So guys, I'm gonna list, I'm gonna talk about five different reasons why I'm personally not using this strategy anymore, okay? So guys, we all know RSI and MACD. Um, for those of you who don't, um, it's just a strategy that I've been using for a very long time. It's super simple, super easy to use. Um, they work very well together, both of these indicators do. Um, pretty much, you know, you buy down here when the market is, you know, oversold, and then you sell up here uh, when the market's over 70 or over 50, and when the market is overbought, or sorry, when the market is overbought, yeah. Um, so guys, that's pretty much the simple gist of things, you guys. Um, in addition, it works very well with the MACD as well. I mean, you can get a very good indication of, you know, what the price action is going to do um, in comparison to RSI. So when you look at both together, you can kind of get a sense of, you know, what is going to eventually happen. Uh, for instance, right here, as you can clearly see right here, you guys, up in here, um, you know, I, what day was this, September 27th? Sure. Up here, you guys, we can clearly see on the RSI, things were extremely, extremely overbought, you guys. It was just extremely overbought, okay? And it needed to come down, all right? That's generally how RSI works, okay? It pretty much shows oversold and overbought conditions. As we can clearly see, it was way overbought up here, and it was due to come down, okay? And look, it, 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 it skyrocketed straight down. And as you guys can see, the same signal poured out on the MACD as well at the same time. So when it started to go down right up here, you guys, or when it was really high, it started to go down, the lines crossed and we switched over into red territory when it started to go down. So you guys see what I mean here? RSI and MACD strategy still works phenomenally, okay? It still works great. It still makes people money. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever, okay? So when I say that I'm not using it anymore, it's not because it has nothing to do with it not working or anything like that, okay? Because realistically here, you guys, I'm still going to use this just nowhere near as much as I have been in the past because I want, I simply just want to grow and I want to try new things, okay? And I'm in a position financially where I can, I can take that chance, okay? So guys, overall here, these are the five main reasons why I am not using it anymore, okay? So guys, number one is I learned that you definitely, I, I learned that, I learned recently that you don't necessarily need indicators at all to be profitable, okay? You don't need indicators at all. You realistically, you really, really don't, you guys, which means they're just simply not required. They're not required to make money in any market. You do not need any kind of indicators. Indicators are only used um, for your personal reference, okay? They're not required to make money in the market at all, okay? Number two, you guys, the number two reason why I'm not using it anymore is because you can successfully trade the crypto market or any market without using indicators once you start understanding technical analysis more and more and you start being able to be able to spot different patterns here and there within the actual different, you know, time frames of charts and stuff. So um, that's another reason, you guys. Number three, the number three reason is because I'm currently I'm I'm currently at a moment where I'm currently trading with support and resistance and that's literally it you guys um, i'm also trying other different types of strategies on the back end as well um, but they're more a little more complex so i'm not going to get into them in this video or anything like that this video is about me just explaining why i'm not using the macd um, the macd rsi strategy anymore okay you guys so right now i've been using the support and resistance strategy a lot lately which a lot of traders do use the support and resistance strategy um, as you guys can clearly see here let me go ahead and get rid of this rsi and macd because we don't need it 
And that's the other thing, you guys. You know, when you have all these other indicators open, it just kind of makes things messy when you're trying to chart out and trying to find different places to buy and stuff like that. So right now, you guys, I've been trading. I've been using um, just simple support and resistance levels to make my trades and trades and find different patterns and figure things out. Um, and it's been going very, very well for me, you guys. Okay, it's once I started to figure this out and started to learn and started to figure out how support and resistance works, um, it it it's it's pretty awesome. Okay, and I will be doing videos on this stuff in the near future as well, so you guys can get a you know get a feel for how it works also. So. Don't worry or anything like that. I will be getting into it in future videos, okay? So guys, the number four reason is because, um, you know, the number four reason I just want to reiterate that there's literally nothing wrong with RSI or MACD, okay? There's just, there's really nothing wrong with you guys. Support and resistance, um, like I was talking about earlier, um, like I said, you guys, you know, it's a great, it's a different way to trade, um, and it's a very simple way to trade. It's very, it, it's very simple. I mean, you're literally just finding um, different spots where there's been key support levels and key resistance levels throughout, you know, a certain time frame, and you literally just base your trades off of, you know, how the price is moving on different time frames through those different levels. Okay, it's really, really simple. It's very easy, you guys. So guys, um, number five thing I want to talk about here is I will still be creating videos about MACD and RSI, okay? So just because I'm not using them personally on a regular basis for trading, this is me just being transparent with, with my followers, okay? This video has nothing to do with me trying to show you guys what to do or tell you guys how to trade or anything like that. This is literally just a video of me staying transparent with you guys so that you guys um, you guys know what I'm up to and you guys can you know get a feel for what I'm currently doing, okay? So I will still be creating uh, videos about MACD and RSI because like I said earlier, you guys, it does still work phenomenally, okay? Actually, my video tomorrow is going to be specifically about just RSI trading, okay? So I just won't be using these on a regular basis, okay, uh, personally. And guys, I'll also be creating videos on many other strategies, um, you know, as I'm learning more strategies as well. So keep that in mind also, you guys. Um, as far as, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, the RS or the, uh, the the support and resistance level type stuff, again, you guys, don't worry about any of that kind of stuff. I will get into that in, in future videos and whatnot, all right? I just wanted to let you guys know that when you start to see videos of me, um, you know, doing different strategies and stuff like that, that's not RSI and MACD related. It has nothing to do with the strategy not working, okay? It's nothing to do with that, all right? It's literally just because I am moving on and I'm trying out different strategies, okay? So overall here, you guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to get across. That's the only thing I really wanted to talk about here. So realistically here, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, if you guys are new, um, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.